Welcome back, history lovers. Today, we embark on an incredible journey to explore the mysteries and wonders of the Pharaonic civilization. Get ready to witness the most important archaeological sites and reveal the secrets of ancient Egypt. The Pharaonic civilization, which spans more than 3,000 years, is one of the most fascinating and influential ancient civilizations in human history. Let's dive into the mysteries that make it so great. At the heart of this civilization lies the complex system of hieroglyphic writing, a complex language that has puzzled scholars for centuries. Not only were hieroglyphs used for communication, they were believed to carry sacred power. Thanks to the dedicated efforts of Egyptologists, we have been able to unlock the secrets of this ancient text, revealing the stories of pharaohs, gods, and daily life. Pharaonic civilization cannot be discussed without acknowledging its rich artistic heritage. Magnificent paintings, sculptures and jewelry have captivated the world for centuries, depicting pharaohs, their families and scenes from everyday life. Let's delve into the Pharaonic civilization. The Pyramids of Giza and the Great Sphinx are famous ancient Egyptian monuments located on the Giza Plateau, near Cairo, Egypt. It is among the most famous and enduring symbols of ancient Egypt and attracts millions of visitors from all over the world. The Giza Plateau is home to three major pyramids, known as the Great Pyramids. These pyramids were built as great tombs for three pharaohs, Khufu, Khafre, and Menkor. The largest and most famous of the pyramids is the Great Pyramid of Khufu, which stands as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Pyramids of Giza, a testament to the ingenuity and architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, have stood tall for more than 4,500 years. Let's delve into its fascinating history. These massive structures were built as tombs for the pharaohs, their final resting places, and symbols of their power and divinity. The sheer size of the pyramids is staggering, constructed with millions of finely carved stone blocks. Next to the pyramids is the Great Sphinx, a colossal limestone statue with the body of a lion and the head of a human. The Great Sphinx is believed to represent Pharaoh Khafre and symbolize royal power and wisdom. It stands as one of the largest and oldest monumental statues in the world, standing about 20 meters high and about 73 meters long. The origins and purpose of the Sphinx are still debated by scholars. Was it a representation of a particular pharaoh or a guardian figure protecting the pyramids and the Nile? Visiting the Pyramids of Giza and the Great Sphinx provides a unique opportunity to connect with the ancient world and witness firsthand the greatness of ancient Egypt. Karnak The Shortest Karnak is an ancient temple complex located in Luxor, Egypt. It is one of the most impressive and largest temple complexes in the world. Karnak was primarily dedicated to the worship of the ancient Egyptian god Ammonius Ra, along with his consort Mut and their son Khonsu. Construction of the Karnak Temple began around 2055 BC and continued for more than 2,000 years. It was expanded and modified by many pharaohs throughout ancient Egyptian history, including Tutankhamun, Ramesses II, and Hatshepsut. The complex covers a vast area of about 200 acres and consists of many temples, stupas, obelisks, and statues. One of the most famous landmarks of Karnak is the Great Hall of Columns, which is a huge hall filled with 134 massive columns, some of which reach 23 meters in height. The hall is known for its intricate carvings and hieroglyphs depicting scenes from ancient Egyptian mythology and history. A visit to Karnak in Luxor allows you to explore the rich history and architectural wonders of ancient Egypt. It is a must-visit destination for history lovers and anyone interested in ancient civilizations. The site is easily accessible and can be explored on foot, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in the awe-inspiring atmosphere of this ancient wonder. Abu Simbel Temples Southwest of Aswan the Abu Simbel temples are two huge rock-cut temples located in southern Egypt, near the border with Sudan. 
These temples are considered masterpieces of ancient Egyptian architecture and have been classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The temples were built during the reign of Pharaoh Ramesses II in the 13th century BC. The main temple is dedicated to Ramses II himself, while the smaller temple is dedicated to his wife, Queen Nefertari. The temples were built to commemorate Ramesses II's victory at the Battle of Kadesh and to demonstrate his power and divine status. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Abu Simbel temples is their relocation. In the 1960s, due to the construction of the Aswan High Dam, the temples faced the danger of being submerged due to the rising water levels of the Nile River. As a result, an international effort was made to move the entire complex to higher ground, ensuring its preservation. The transfer was an engineering marvel. The temples were cut into blocks, disassembled, and then reassembled in a new location, indoors and above water level. This remarkable achievement allowed the temples to be preserved for future generations. The Abu Simbel temples are famous for their colossal statues, particularly the four colossal statues of Ramesses, two at the entrance to the main temple. Each statue is about 20 meters high and represents the pharaoh in a seated position to project power and authority. A visit to the Abu Simbel temples offers a captivating glimpse into ancient Egyptian civilization. Detailed carvings, impressive architecture, and a fascinating history make it a must-see attraction for travelers interested in ancient Egypt. Kalmambo Temple Aswan It is an ancient temple located in Upper Egypt, near the city of Kalmambo. It is located on the eastern bank of the Nile River and is one of the unique temples in Egypt due to its double design. The temple was built during the reign of the Ptolemaic dynasty, between the 2nd century BC and the 1st century AD, but it was built on the site of an ancient temple dating back to the era of the New Kingdom. What distinguishes Kalmambo Temple is that it is dedicated to two deities, Sobek, the crocodile god, and Horus, the falcon-headed god. The double design of the temple consists of two identical sections, each with its own entrance, halls, sanctuaries, and chapels. The left side is dedicated to Horus, while the right side is dedicated to Sobek. This duality reflects the importance of both deities in ancient Egyptian religious beliefs. One of the main attractions of the Kalmambo Temple is the presence of the Nilometer, which was used to measure the water level of the Nile River. The Nile River was of great importance to the ancient Egyptians as it played a crucial role in their agriculture and their way of life. The walls of Kalmambo Temple are decorated with well-preserved reliefs and reliefs, depicting various scenes from ancient Egyptian mythology, medical instruments, surgical instruments, and even childbirth practices. These images provide valuable insights into the religious, cultural, and medical practices of the time. Visiting Kalmambo Temple allows you to immerse yourself in the ancient Egyptian civilization and witness the unique architectural style and religious practices of the Ptolemaic era. The temple offers a captivating experience for history lovers and those interested in ancient Egyptian myths and culture. Luxor Temple Luxor City It is an ancient temple complex located in Luxor, Egypt. It is one of the most important and well-preserved temples in the country and has great historical and cultural significance. The history of the Luxor Temple dates back to the era of the New Kingdom in ancient Egypt, specifically the 14th century BC. It was built primarily to honor the god Ammonius, along with his consort, Mut, and their son, Khonsu. The temple was expanded and modified by many pharaohs over the centuries, including Amenhotep III, Tutankhamun, Ramesses II, and Alexander the Great. The temple is famous for its grandeur and architectural beauty. It consists of several structures, including towers, courtyards, halls, and chapels. The entrance to the temple is marked by a huge tower with intricate carvings and hieroglyphs. The main part of the temple is the portico, which is a magnificent hall lined with huge statues and decorated with bas-reliefs. 
The Great Sphinx Street is one of the distinctive landmarks of the Luxor Temple. Originally, this street connected Luxor Temple and Karnak Temple, extending for about three kilometers. Although much of it is now gone, the remaining sphinxes along the road are still stunning. Luxor Temple played an important role in ancient Egyptian religious and cultural practices. It was the venue for many religious ceremonies and events, and was believed to be the residence of the gods. Today, it continues to attract visitors from all over the world who come to admire its architectural splendor and explore its rich historical significance. A visit to Luxor Temple allows you to step back in time and experience the grandeur of ancient Egypt. Its stunning architecture, intricate carvings, and mystical atmosphere make it a must-visit destination for history lovers and those interested in ancient civilizations. Valley of the Kings Luxor City The Valley of the Kings is an archaeological site located on the west bank of the Nile River, near the city of Luxor in Egypt. It is an ancient necropolis that served as the final resting place for many pharaohs and nobles in the New Kingdom era in ancient Egypt. The Valley of the Kings gained prominence as a royal necropolis during the 16th to 11th centuries BC. The decision to bury the pharaohs in this secluded valley came to protect their tombs from looting and to ensure their safe passage to the afterlife. The valley contains about 63 known tombs, each carved into the rocks of the surrounding hills. These tombs are remarkable architectural masterpieces, decorated with intricate carvings, colorful paintings, and hieroglyphic inscriptions. The walls of the tombs depict scenes from the pharaoh's life, religious rituals, and mythical tales, all intended to aid the deceased pharaoh's journey to the afterlife. One of the most famous tombs in the Valley of the Kings is that of Tutankhamun, the boy pharaoh whose tomb was discovered by Howard Carter in 1922. The tomb contained a wealth of treasures and artifacts, providing valuable information on ancient Egyptian culture and art. Exploring the Valley of the Kings offers a glimpse into the grandeur and beliefs of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Although not all tombs are open to the public, several notable tombs can be visited, allowing visitors to witness the elaborate burial rituals and exquisite craftsmanship of the time. It is important to note that due to conservation efforts, the number of open tombs may vary, and some tombs may be closed periodically for restoration purposes. However, the Valley of the Kings remains a captivating and important archaeological site that attracts countless visitors seeking to delve into the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Philae Temples Aswan City A complex of ancient Egyptian temples located on the island of Philae in the Nile River, near Aswan in southern Egypt. The temples are dedicated to the goddess Isis and were built during the Ptolemaic and Roman periods. The original Philae Temple complex was located on the island of Philae, which was considered sacred by the ancient Egyptians. However, due to the construction of the Aswan High Dam and the subsequent flooding caused by the reservoir, the island was in danger of being submerged. As a result, an international effort was made to move the temples to the nearby island of Ajilkia for preservation. Relocating the temples was a complex process that involved taking the structures apart piece by piece and rebuilding them on the island of Ajilkia. The project aims to preserve the original orientation of the temples and preserve their historical and cultural significance. The main temple in the Philae complex is the Temple of Isis which was the center of the cult of the goddess Isis and her consort Osiris. It features stunning towers, columns, halls, and sanctuaries decorated with intricate carvings, hieroglyphs, and colorful reliefs depicting scenes from ancient Egyptian mythology and religious rituals. The Philae temples provide a fascinating insight into the religious practices and beliefs of ancient Egypt. They were an important pilgrimage site and a center of the cult of Isis, who was revered as the goddess of fertility, magic, and motherhood. Visiting the Philae temples allows you to appreciate the beauty of their architecture and explore the rich symbolism and mythology associated with Isis. 
The island's quiet location adds to the site's appeal, making it a captivating destination for history lovers, archaeology lovers, and those interested in ancient Egyptian culture. Tutankhamun The Egyptian Museum in Cairo The Egyptian Museum is a treasure trove of artifacts, spanning 5,000 years of ancient Egyptian history. Here, we can witness the remarkable achievements of one of the world's greatest civilizations. As we step inside, a world of wonder greets us. Countless galleries filled with meticulously preserved artifacts, each carrying a unique story about ancient Egyptian culture, art, and spirituality. The museum houses an amazing collection, including Tutankhamun's famous golden mask, exquisite statues of pharaohs, intricate jewelry worn by kings, and finely crafted funerary objects. Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut, was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who ruled during the 14th century BC. His story gained worldwide attention primarily because of the discovery of his intact tomb in the Valley of the Kings in 1922. Tutankhamun ascended the throne at a young age, around nine or ten years old. He inherited the throne from his father, Akhenaten, who was famous for his religious reforms, especially the worship of the sun god Aten. Tutankhamun's reign marked a return to the traditional polytheistic religious practices of ancient Egypt. During his short reign of nearly nine years, Tutankhamun's advisors and priests played important decision-making roles. His reign was overshadowed by the influence of powerful figures, including General Hormheb and Vizier I. Discovered by British archaeologist Howard Carter, Tutankhamun's tomb contains a wealth of treasures and artifacts. The tomb's treasures included elaborate funerary masks, jewelry, statues, chariots, and furniture. Among the most famous artifacts found was the golden funerary mask that covered the pharaoh's mummy. The cause of Tutankhamun's death is still a matter of debate. Recent scientific examinations indicate that he may have died from complications arising from a broken leg associated with malaria infection. However, more conclusive evidence is still being sought. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb and its treasures brought worldwide fame and sparked enormous interest in ancient Egyptian history and antiquities. The tomb provided valuable insights into the funerary practices, art, and material culture of ancient Egypt. Although Tutankhamun's reign was relatively short and his historical impact limited, his story has captured the imagination of people all over the world. The treasures of his tomb continue to roam in museums around the world, allowing visitors to appreciate the art and craftsmanship of ancient Egypt and the mysterious life of this young pharaoh. To truly appreciate the importance of these artifacts, we have the privilege of speaking with respected Egyptologists, who have dedicated their lives to studying and unraveling the mysteries of ancient Egypt. In the sacred confines of the museum's mummy room, we bear witness to the preserved remains of pharaohs and nobles, allowing us to reflect on ancient Egyptian beliefs related to death, the afterlife, and the immortal soul. Besides artifacts, the Egyptian Museum provides a platform for visitors from all over the world to immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian history. It serves as a bridge connecting us to a civilization that has left an indelible mark on humanity. Thus, we conclude our exploration of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, an institution that preserves and celebrates the wonders of ancient Egypt. Join us next time as we continue our quest to uncover the mysteries of the world's most attractive historical sites. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and let history inspire you.